Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Coming to the close of Ruth because Ruth is a very, very short, small, and sweet book. And this chapter is scandalous. I love it. So, chapter 3, verse 1. Then Naomi, her mother in law, said to her, My daughter, shall I not seek security for you that it may be well with you? In essence, let's see if we can get you a husband, someone who can take care of you and help provide for you. So, jumping down to verse 7, here's the plan. We're just going to skip her, like, talking about it. We're just going to skip down to the plan itself. And after Boaz had eaten and drunk and his heart was cheerful, he went to lie down at the end of the heap of grain. And she came softly, uncovered his feet, and laid down. And it happened at midnight that the man was startled and turned himself, and there a woman was lying at his feet. And he said, Who are you? So she answered, I am Ruth, your maidservant. Take your maidservant under your wing, for you are a close relative. That is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I imagine the woman pursuing the man was not exactly in vogue at that time. But for two, for the woman to go into the man's area of sleeping in the middle of the night. <laughs> I've got to say, if I saw some woman <laughs> sleeping next to me out of nowhere in the middle of the night and I woke up and there she was I don't think my reaction would be one of being very calm or exactly in the mood of talking I don't think that's what I'd be thinking about at that point <laughs> to be very blunt but to follow that up um, going down to the end of verse 11 Boaz talking to Ruth I will do for you all that you request, for all the people of my town know that you are a virtuous woman. And following back down to for, verse 14, so she laid his feet until morning, and she arose before one could recognize another. So nothing sexual happened at all. What happened there was completely pure, but talk about pursuing her man, she went all out. So ladies, if you're interested in a man, there's absolutely nothing wrong with pursuing him. One, nowhere in the Bible is that forbidden. Two, there's a really strong precedent in this really cool little book right here. And chapter four will reveal kind of like the ultimate thing that God wanted to do with Ruth. And it's, it's my, if you know it, you know how mind-blowing it is. And if you don't know it, stick around for tomorrow's lesson. It's mind-blowing. So yeah, that's just, I'm not sure if I can stay pure under those circumstances. Honesty, at least I'm going to be honest with you guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, not in that way, and God bless.